Jason. If you had told me a year and a half ago today that the guy taking my order at Outback Steakhouse would one day be my husband, I would have never believed you. <laughs> Look at us. We've made it. We've gone through ups and downs, highs and lows. And we're here today in front of our friends and family and God getting married. I vow to not get mad at you every single time you keep the toilet seat up. And that's a lot. And I promise to always love you no matter what. Even when it's the Super Bowl and the Eagles lose. How are you doing today, ladies? Can I help you find anything? No, okay. My name's Shelly. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. We have a 15% off sale on the flats today, 25% if you have a membership, and we also have a 45% sale in the back. Would you like me to start with the changing room? No, okay. My name's Shelly. Oh, wow, that's a great blouse. It goes great with your complexion, too. Would you like me to start with the changing room? No, okay. Are you just looking? No, okay. Sale on the flats, 15%. 25% of the membership. You know, Amy, I really don't appreciate this. I thought we were all going to Target together and now you're telling me that you're going to Target by yourself and I just won't have it. There are things that I need and that this house needs and now I need to get ready in a tizzy because you decided to go to Target before 12. Well, you know, if you stop talking to me, if you stop speaking with me, then maybe I can get ready faster and then we can go to Target together, okay? Because I can't, I can't multitask when I'm under duress. You know what, this attitude, this talking back, I'm not enjoying this. I'm not enjoying this with you. Jesus, Mary and Joseph and the rest of the kids, you are selfish. You're selfish. Where is my blush? Well, I haven't eaten today, so I need to have a bite of my Cliff Bar. I'm stress eating. This is not a part of my diet. God damn it. Okay, well, I'm ready to go. So I've been waiting for hours. So let's go. Let's go to Target. Honestly, I don't think that anyone would want to date me because I love to eat pizza. Like, <laughs> I eat pizza more than probably like anyone else I know eats pizza. I just, it's just, I don't know, like, I'm just, like, I'm weird. <laughs> I used to play a lot of sports. <laughs> I know, I'm not like other girls. I'm not. I'm, like, different. <laughs> I fall asleep watching cartoons. I'm obsessed with video games. I don't really wear makeup. Um, I'm, like, really bad at it, so I just kind of, like, put on mascara and I walk out of the door and I'm, like, done. For prom, I wore combat boots under my dress. I cannot walk in heels. Um, I would much rather watch Star Wars than any rom-com any day. <laughs> I'm not like other girls. Where are you? I'm in my house. <laughs> I know it's like a mess. You look so pretty. Aw, thank you, so do you. Um, so, you're the best, you're the best, aw, you're the best, <laughs> aw, you're so pretty too. Show us your butt, you guys, I'm not going to show you my butt hole, I know you keep asking, I'm not going to do it. Hi, um. This is gonna be like a different kind of video than what you're used to. I'm like not in the studio right now. I'm at my house. Um, I literally don't know if I'll be able to get through this video without crying. I've been crying all morning. I look insane. Um, it's been a really, really hard morning.
Um, oh God, like so much snot and tears. Oh. To my fans, I am, I'm sorry. Hi. If we could just, if we could, if we could settle, if we could, hi, hi. Um, so I, I am not directly related to the bride or groom. I'm here with my husband. The groom and my husband are business partners. Hello. <laughs> um, you know, I was sitting here. I just, I felt compelled to speak. And, uh, you know, I just, it's such a magical day for the bride and groom. Congratulations. Uh, love is a many splendid thing. It lifts us up where we belong. All you need is love. Nurture it because it can die a horrible death. Okay. Con cheers. <laughs> Nurture that love because it can die. I'm going to, I'm sitting down. I'm sitting, I'm going to sit down. Thank you. I'm, I'm sitting down. Thank you. Hi, this is Cheryl Johnson on Riddier Road. How are ya? <laughs> Hi. Um, I was just calling to ask if Joe's Pizza is still an essential business. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, let's put in an order. Um, I would like one large cheese pizza, and I would like some extra chili flakes. Um, I asked for that last time. I didn't get it. I was really dissatisfied, so if you'd remember that this time, that'd be great. <laughs> okay. And I would also like some garlic rolls for my kids. That's the only time they're nice to me. You know how it is. Oh, you don't have kids. Oh, okay. Don't have them. Don't. Because it's awful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. See you soon. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, bye. Barry, have you seen my Aquaphor? My, my petroleum jelly. Have you seen my petroleum jelly? It was in my bag, and now it's not in my bag. So unless, unless somebody in this family has gone through my bag and took my Aquaphor. I have the Comex, but I don't have the petroleum jelly. I can't put this all over my body, Barry. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. It doesn't sound like it's in my bag. It's the Aquaphor. It's an A, it's A-Q-U-A. PH4, I, I don't know. It can't function unless I have my aquaphor, okay? I have eczema. I'm breaking out. Do you understand? So fuck, help me and find it, thank you. Okay, so I, it was in my bag, I found it. Um, it's not aquaphor, but it's petroleum jelly. Does anyone want any? You can put it anywhere. Just sort of rashes. That's a really good point, Diane. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Thank you. And also, Diane, I just wanted to let you know that I really appreciate your time and guidance during this time. You've been an amazing group leader. Yeah, and to piggyback off of what Matt said, if you guys are struggling working from home, you're not being creative enough, there's a lot to do right now for the company. I've been very, very busy giving myself projects. So you just need to be thinking about the company and be creative and have a positive mindset and you'll find something to do during this time at home. Uh, Diane, I've noticed that Jeff is not here. He has not checked into the meeting. Yeah, I had a feeling you were going to bring that up. I actually made a PowerPoint on that exact topic. I emailed everyone the PowerPoint. If you guys want to check your emails, we should be always checking our emails. Um, you can look at the PowerPoint so we don't have to ask questions during this time. Thanks, Diane. The last time I came here, I made out with the DJ and threw up in his mouth and I didn't tell anyone. But don't, but don't say anything. My boyfriend, my boyfriend's gonna be a politician after we graduate and we're probably gonna get married. So I've been going through my Twitter to make sure that I don't have anything offensive on it because I used to tweet a lot when I was stoned off of Oxycontin in the middle of the night. You know how like, do you know how like people are in relationships where they're like severely unhappy but you know that it'll get better over time when people progress and mature? That's definitely me and Connor. Bonjour, bonjour. <laughs>
<laughs> How are you guys? I've been up since like six o'clock because I'm on Paris time. This, oh my God, I forgot I was wearing it. Um, it's called a belay and it's a hat that people wear in France. I have this whole journal just filled with my experience in France if anyone wants to read it. I think I'm gonna turn it into a book. <laughs> I've been noticing that instead of writing in English, I've been writing in French. I met a gentleman in France, his name is uh, Biel, and he plays the guitar and he's very sweet, and we're in love. <laughs> merci, merci. <laughs> oh my God, all I have is French money. <laughs> um, can I Venmo you guys? I still have the international plan on my phone, so I don't know if the Venmo is going to go through. Hi, <laughs> hi, I'm so sorry to do this. Um, so I, I come into the Starbucks a lot and I'm sitting outside with my daughter and there is a dog outside and it's just barking at us and I feel unsafe. So I was wondering if you could just remove the dog. The owner is outside with the dog. I just, I want the dog removed. I don't think that dogs should be where coffee is. I don't, I don't think that's too hard to understand. So, um, okay, well, if there's a manager that I can speak with, because I am here as a patron of this Starbucks and I'm asking you as a customer to do something and I don't think you're doing that for me, okay? Because my daughter is very upset. Okay, I'm calling the police. Hi, yes, I'm at the Starbucks near Whittier Road. I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked right now. And I feel, un I'm being attacked right now. I'm being attacked right now. How's everyone doing tonight? They see we got a lot of lovebirds in the audience. You know, people don't say that word enough. Love. If you're here with someone tonight that you love, pull your arms around them and tell them, life's too short. I wish my ex-husband did that to me. Instead, he took all my money and I live in my car now. Tonight we're celebrating Bill and Maria's 35th wedding anniversary. Congratulations, you kids. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun, am I right? On the band tonight, we've got Eric Stiltz, longtime friend and collaborator. Hope you enjoy this next song. to thank each and every one of you for coming to my baby shower today. Whether you had to drive, get on a plane, or walk down the street, it means the absolute world to me. Jason and I could not be more excited for the birth of baby McKaylin. As you know, he couldn't be here today because Saturday is for the boys. But what he also doesn't know is that it's for the girls too. <laughs> to me, best friend Sarah, thank you from the bottom of my heart for throwing me the most beautiful baby shower I've literally ever seen. Thank you. Okay, let's open presents. <laughs> I'm like getting emotional. <laughs> hey. Hey, babe. What are you doing? Playing fucking Zelda. Oh, you're playing video games? Are you mad? So I am standing here as a living, breathing female. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you are. And you're doing what exactly? Playing Zelda. Wow. Wow. I'm actually, I'm having, I'm really enjoying myself. I hope you have a really good time. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. I am. I will be on the couch alone. Okay. Minding my own business. Okay. I need attention. Hi, do you guys have mozzarella sticks? Oh, perfect. <laughs> We'll take five orders. Do you have diet Pepsi? Diet Pepsi? Ugh. 
A Coke will be fine. It's not, I'm not asking for much. Hi, so, oh, the salad didn't work out. Oh, I know, I know. It just, it tastes like blood. It tastes like blood. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. So I, I live in the area. Um, can I, can I get a local discount? Oh, you don't have that. Okay, um, can I, can I speak to your manager?